A very warm welcome this time to War Thunder, because Skirdos is in updating mode, which means we're not playing it until 1.4 is there. Anyway, we're playing War Thunder this time, uh, means more shooting, less house destroying, and uh, there are already five fractions available for us. Uh, I've made an account with Syntaxi, like just like every time with its playing. Um, we have the Soviet Union, Nazi Germany, um, the USA, Great Britain and Japan. And I've started with the Soviet Union just because I don't want every, every anybody to get stuck at his nation, because I have Germans watching, Americans watching, also some people from the UK, and so I'm starting with the most neutral nation here. We will have also the other countries uh, played, of course, which means that you have just to comment, well, I would like to have Japan played or whatever. And we will play it, of course, and not only this, but because of my um, content bullshit level going too high, I decided to get it even higher by making a, uh, let's say, let's comment together by bringing my girlfriend along, who is now allowed to say hello. Hi. Yeah. So, um, the thing we're starting with is taking a battle. An arcade battle, we're at level 1, so there's nothing interesting with it. We're just starting with the plane we have. Whoever already knows what War Thunder is, I will still make a little introduction for those who don't know it. War Thunder is a game now in the beta, which is about planes flying around and fighting. But there will also be, as you see in the drop-down menu, army and fleet, so you will be able to play a tank and there will be an opportunity to play a ship but now we have only our planes and the tanks are AI uh, enemies still the main target is mostly or most often to shoot them down and we have our two planes and I think we will just use our opportunity to start with the IL-15 an older machine but we will get newer during our little campaign so as you see we have the mouse movement, left, right, up, down and so on to make it a little tutorial. With the WASD buttons I can just make it faster and with the no, with the W and S button and with A and D I can turn the wings. We now have some kind of uh, bicycle like, oh no not bicycle like, it was in a, in a bomber. So we have just um, wheels or gears which we can't put away. The blue planes and the blue tanks are ours, while the red are our enemies. And I think the most important thing is at the beginning to fly as high as possible, because if you have the advantage in hive, you can attack the other planes. Yeah, as the planes of the enemy approach to us, we will have quite a bit of screaming around, because our plane might burn and might go down and also, other tanks might shoot at us, which is not quite that good, so we will make a little maneuver around here. Yeah, and yeah, I think we should just ignore the about 10 planes flying in our direction, but concentrate on the one here and shoot it down. Critical hit, yeah. I uh, hope to get something like that at the beginning, so he's flying down, which means we have to fly behind him and try to fight him, shoot him down. And this is not that easy, we get a hit, aircraft destroyed, yeah, this means this aircraft, yeah, he lost a wing, this might make it difficult for him to fly, so we can change our target, or, well, no, why actually not uh, look like he uh, ends in a great fireball, now let's look at we don't get the same destiny and fly the next direction, so yeah, the first flight and the first shoot down, just like I hoped, because often it happens other way, otherwise. So now, right to the nickname, we can see the plane someone is flying, and this is important later on, because we will have bombers which are trying to destroy our tanks, and we will have fighters which are trying to defend them. So um, if we see a certain plane type, which is a bomber, and I will later on learn which one is which one, we will know that some planes are to attack and some are not, and we're getting a huge overload, which means our pilot can't handle the pressure 
getting of the G-forces, and this is not that good. On the other side, we have the plane attacking us in the other side, because he doesn't want to get shoot down, and we have to act now. It isn't Goddess anymore, it isn't this just music playing easy peasy game, it is now about shooting, it is now about surviving, damn! Alright. Just get calm, everything is okay. <laughs> Besides the machine guns trying to shoot our wings down, but else everything is okay, of course, just as every time. Uh, yeah, on the right side you can see that we're approaching the ground <laughs> to crash in a huge fireball. Uh, yeah, on the left you could see that there was uh, some parts of the plane getting uh, black. This means that we that they are massively destroyed and we can't control them that good, which lead to our little crash here. But no problem, fortunately we have a second plane. This is our reserve plane. This is only available in arcade mode, so if we will play the uh, realism mode later on, Possibly, if I get a joystick or something like that which works properly, we will of course have only one plane. So this is quite realistic, but still not that realistic. So it's more like a game. So if you compare Battlefield to Arma, this would be the Battlefield part. Anyway, I see a gladiator flying around and we will surprise him from above. You can see that we are... Yeah, you can see that someone else already took the opportunity, so we will just search another plane, which is, for example, this one. It's an L515, just like ours is. Or no, this one is also flying around, and there already is one plane behind it, so we could use the advantage of him being chased. Yeah, and hit him, just... Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, just like that. It should be just like that. Bang! Yeah, right. Yeah, it seems the pilot career is not that easy. Now, this plane is flying towards us, and it seems that he's not going to attack us, so we can... Oh dear! We're shooting down too many enemies, but I don't have any problem. That's so right. why not? But as I uh, took the opportunity and played with... Uh, have two accounts, one private one, which I am playing alone without recording and one with recording. I already had some training, but it wasn't that easy, so we had already shot four planes down. Wow! Yeah, I didn't expect this one coming, so why actually not? Let's shoot the next down and hope it works just as well as, this, as the last one. Man! Why? This is way too easy. We're getting a real killing spree here. I'm expecting a overly manly man in a very masculine voice to say rampage but yeah however we are also chasing one plane which is down there flying around and thinking of nothing but shooting our own planes down yeah it's be probably because we're just at level one or level zero even so we're getting the really easy planes and damn we're already shoot how many down six oh man so six pilots found their um, flaming grave beneath us and another one this uh, mix of red and gray means the plane is basically approaching the ground in a very destroyed way so we don't have to take care of him anymore on the other side this one has to take has to be taken care of him, even though another plane of our fraction is already on his side Oh yeah, and talking of fractions, uh, only in historical and realistic battles we have two fractions split up. So here you can have also American and Russian and German planes flying against other American, Russian and German planes. Yeah, just to have said that. Um, right, the first episode is already coming to an end, which is quite interesting to have such a killing spree in the first episode. I will hope that I can keep up the shooting down series which we have at the time but I can't promise you anything now let's let's have any of that one ow oh, alright alright no problem not my cup of tea but alright so our little ill 15 making what it make what it does best shooting down enemy planes so we could reload now with the Z button yeah works fine 
un-American uh, keyboards to smite me the Y button, but however.